Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and my husband and I are the proud distributors here in South Africa of this amazing new product called Maybe Mom. It's a saliva ovulation microscope and it's the first of its kind in our country. It's new to us but not so new to places like America, Australia, Canada, the UK and Singapore. They've been using Maybe Mom, also known as Maybe Baby in some of these countries, for over nine years. Now let's get through some of the technical stuff. Just to show you how this concept came about and how exciting it is for us ladies to have access to this kind of technology in our own homes. In 1957, scientists from the University of Turin in Italy discovered that estrogen in a woman's saliva can reflect her fertility at any one time of the month. When dried, saliva crystallizes and forms a pattern that resembles ferning and this can clearly be seen under a microscope during ovulation. With this research in mind, Optics, who manufacture contact lenses for the European market, developed Maybe Mom. Their aim was to develop a product of the highest quality, so they ensured that Maybe Mom had all the relevant certifications. Maybe Mom is 98% accurate, and it's a fully reusable saliva ovulation tester, and I'm going to show you now how simple it is to use and what a powerful tool this can be when you're trying to fall pregnant. This is what it looks like in stores. In your box, you will get your instruction leaflet on how to use it, and you will get a fertility chart. Now I'll come back to talk more about this fertility chart and how important it is to chart yourself when using a product like this. You get your microscope. This you can use up to 10,000 times, no need to throw it away. And you get a soft lint cloth that you use to clean your microscope lens after each use. Now it is best to test yourself first thing in the morning when you wake up, before you've brushed your teeth or had a cup of coffee. In general, you need to test two hours after you've eaten anything. So morning seems to be the most convenient. But please feel free to test just before lunch or just before dinner. What you do is you take the lid off, you take the microscope cap off, you lick your finger and you put your sample of saliva on the microscope lens. You leave that to dry open. It needs about 15 to 20 minutes and on a cold day it could take up to half an hour. But once that's dried completely, you put the cap back on. At the back here there's a little button. You push that button to illuminate the image with a little LED light and then you hold it up to your eye to view your results. Now if you don't see them clearly, then you can just focus the lens by twisting the cap. As I mentioned, it was made by Optics, so a contact lens manufacturer, so they've taken into account any kind of eyesight, being able to view your results in this microscope. Now when seeing your results in this microscope, you'll see one of three things at different times of the month. I've got an example here which you'll see in your instruction leaflet as well. This here is pebbles and dots, which is considered to be your non-fertile stage. Over here, we've got our transitional stage, where you'll see slight ferning that has started to begin, but there's also the presence of pebbles and dots. And then here, you would see your day of ovulation, where the full microscope lens is ferning. Dense ferns, that's what you're looking for. So let's get to our chart. I often like to give you an example of my chart because I learned so much when charting myself and I'd want you ladies using this product to benefit from it just as much as what I did. Basically you would start on your first day of your monthly cycle and that would be marked with an M. The T stands for your transitional phase which will be about one or two days, even three days before your actual day of ovulation and the O would be your day of ovulation. Now the kind of things that you can learn when using a chart like this is how long your cycle is. You can also see when exactly you ovulate. Um, most of us have learned at school and doctors tell us that it's anything between day 11 and day 16. But we've found that women can ovulate as early as day 8 or as late as day 20. So what I noticed when using this product myself, that I only ovulate on day 18, 19 or 20. And you can start seeing a pattern that forms with your ovulation. Another nice thing you can pick up is your luteal phase. 
Now your luteal phase is considered to be from day of ovulation to the day of your next cycle. That generally needs to be about 14 days long. And, they, and doctors say that anything under 12 days could make it very difficult for you to fall pregnant and keep that baby in the early um, stages of pregnancy. When my doctor picked this up, he sent me in for um, he sent me in for blood tests and we confirmed that I was low on progesterone. So there's a clear indication that you could have a hormone imbalance or be low on progesterone. And progesterone is considered to be the super glue that gets that little fetus to stick to our womb. So if that, if that period of time is not long enough, then you may fall pregnant and not even know that you're pregnant. And the next month, your cycle could just come again and you'd think that nothing has happened. Now because of this chart and the general fertility health and the information that you can get from something like this, medical aids have taken it under their wing and you can now purchase it on your medical aid savings. So um, that's an exciting thing for us because this is not only considered an infertility device but it's considered a device to let us ladies know how um, what our fertility status is and if we have any hormone imbalances or anything we need to look for in the future when we are going to try and conceive. So that's exciting. Um, finally, we've got control over something like our ovulation. Um, ladies have control over everything else in their lives, but when it comes to figuring out why we can't fall pregnant or knowing something as simple, of, as, simple as when do I ovulate, we've got no control over that. And now with this device, I believe that we are empowering women to know exactly what their status is at any one time of the month. Now another, another nice thing um, about using this product is using it for gender selection. In other words, falling pregnant with the desired sex. Now this is not 100% accurate. Um, they've given it about an 80% accuracy. Um, in terms of, of trying to fall pregnant with a specific gender. The way it works is um, the man carries male and female sperm. Now I often um, explain it to women in this way that male and female sperm are very similar to what we are as humans. When us ladies go shopping, we take our time, we look at everything, we try all the clothes on before we buy them, we compare prices. So we take a while to get anything done in the shops. Now that's the same as female sperm. They um, are very slow swimmers, but they've got a long lifespan. So they're about 48 to 72 hours they can survive in our bodies. Male sperm on the other hand are much like the males we know, humans. Um, they're going in to buy a pair of jeans, they're in that shopping center and right out. Get that jeans and off they go. Sperm are the same. The male sperm are very fast swimmers. But they only survive about 6 to 10 hours in, in our bodies. So if we look at those, at those statistics, what those, what those statistics suggest is that if you have intercourse in the early stages of ovulation, which be, would be during your transitional phase, and you abstain from any activity for the rest of your ovulation, you would most likely fall pregnant with a little girl. If you'd like to try for a little boy, you would look at having intercourse on the day of ovulation and most likely those male sperm will get to the egg before the females do. Now all that's left for me to do is to wish you all the best of luck and to wish you all to have lots of healthy happy babies and to take good care of yourselves. If you do need to get a hold of us or you have any other questions you'd like to ask you can email us at info maybemom.co.za or you could check out our website at www.maybemom.co.za or you can like our page on Facebook called Maybe Mom. Thank you for watching.